Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Laura Noland, reporting from beautiful Miami, Florida, for the Metro Connect USA 2022 show. Joining me today is Mark Murphy. He is the CEO of Greenlight Networks. Welcome back to JSA TV, Mark. Great to be back and great to be here in beautiful Miami. Nice and warm. <laughs> <laughs> Could you tell us a little bit about Greenlight Networks and what you do? Sure. Uh, we just celebrated our 10th anniversary uh, last year. We are uh, New York's fastest internet service provider, and uh, we're building our network all across upstate New York. And um, I think, you know, as we grow, the, the, looking in ahead to this year, we're, we're really excited to be in this space. And certainly, it's been fun to be at the show and listen to all the folks talking about fiber to the home. Absolutely. And just want to comment. You said it was warm. Yeah, upstate New York. Yeah, this is nice and warm for you. <laughs> yes, when I left, it was about nine degrees. Oh, goodness. Well, I want to talk about fiber to the home. I know that Greenlight Net Networks made uh, huge news regarding a lot of your fiber to the home initiatives. 100% fiber to the home network in New York and connecting more than 10,000 homes. I want to make sure I had those numbers right. So can you tell us more about that? Yeah, we just announced that we're going to be building in Cheektowaga, which is a suburb of Buffalo. Uh, and that will uh, add about 10,000 homes, I, I believe, this year. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we have plans to build to, to nearly double the 70,000 or so homes that we currently pass in New York this year. So we've got pretty ambitious plans uh, looking ahead. I just want to dig deep on those plans. So as you're building those fiber networks, um, any other type of strategies or a type of initiatives that you're building with that fiber to the home or just strictly fiber to the home all the way? We've been really focused on fiber to the home. In, in upstate New York in particular, there's some other uh, very good providers that are that are here at the show. Think uh, When you think about First Light or Crown Castle, mm -hmm. we actually partner with them to get to these different metropolitan areas. And, um, and so for us, we're looking at places that there really is not a competitive fiber provider. Mm -hmm. and, um, and we think we can offer a really competitive service in those places. So let's talk about Metro Connect a little bit. It's getting loud down there. I can hear some chatter, so I won't keep you too much longer. What's been the highlight so far of the show? Well, the fiber to the home panel, of course, that just, <laughs> just happened was, was pretty exciting. And, um, and having uh, Colby Sinusol from uh, Cohen, uh, Cowan mention green light this morning was also pretty cool. Uh, uh, you know, I've been coming to the show for several years now, and, and it, it really is interesting to see the interest level evolve in fiber to the home. So it feels good to be, you know, recognized as a, as a very viable part of the fiber ecosystem and, and, and a lot of excitement about its growth this year. Yeah, I've heard a lot about fiber to the home several times throughout the show, and that's great that Greenlight Networks is part of that conversation. It is great, and uh, and there's some really really good companies in the space that uh, that you know this show is perfect to be able to get together with a lot of those colleagues, trade ideas and, and strategies, and, and support each other. So, where can our viewers go to learn more about Greenlight Networks? So, GreenlightNetworks.com. Uh, we're also on all the social things that you'd want to find us on, um, and certainly sign up to get our service. Go check them out. Well, thank you, Mark, for joining us again. Thank you, Laura. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcast. Happy networking.